What is up you guys? Sean Allen here. Welcome to another construction update here from Universal Studios Hollywood. Today's February 17th, 2018. It's another Saturday. Basically, I'm doing all my construction updates on Saturdays. So if you guys are looking for me in the parks, I'll be here on Saturdays for sure. Each week, bringing you new information about the... <laughs> A bee just flew past my face. Give you guys new updates as to what's going on here at Universal Studios Hollywood and also Universal City Walk. Let's get started with City Walk. Hang on, before I forget, just recently Universal hiked up the prices of one day tickets. It was 105 bucks, now it's 109. We start off with our City Walk update with Saddle Ranch Chop House. And as you can see, not a whole lot has changed. Looks pretty much the same as it did last week, but I'm pretty sure they're doing stuff inside than they are outside. They'll probably do the stuff that's outside later on once they get the whole place like completely renovated inside. This looks like a piece of the rope that was right here. Got these big old doors right there. The bull ride is right there. And it looks like they put some tarps over that gate so that way you can't see what's going on inside. So no progress outside, but I'm sure they're doing stuff inside. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, I think this rope was here for the horse. They used to be like right out here in the front. Because this rope is still here. It's still attached. And I think this was for the horse that was out here. I don't remember exactly. I could be wrong. I'll have to look through the photos, but this rope is still here. So this is where Scene used to be. The shop where you got like glasses and sunglasses. As you can see, nothing has changed yet. So for like the last two weeks, no announcements have been made about what's going in its place. This is the Vivo Italian Kitchen that's going in place of the Bistro that used to be here. Wolfgang Pug Bristow. Bristro, I can't say that for the life of me. <laughs> it's a tongue twister. But the walls are still here. No real clue as to what it's gonna look like on the inside. They're probably renovating the inside first and then they're gonna work on the exterior. They now have this big tarp here for Sephora. So it looks like they are gonna be doing something up here. So for the last couple of weeks, I've been forgetting to let you guys know what this used to be. This was the Upstart Crow right in here, this area, but right next door was Coffee Beanie and Tea Leaf. Now this whole area is gonna be Sephora. And right next door is gonna be the Vivo Italian Kitchen. And like I mentioned last week, they connected the walls to Sephora with Vivo. And look what's open, it's Nectar Bath Treats. They are open for business. This used to be the Magnet Max store. I am not sure how long ago this opened, but it just opened, like very recently, within this last week. This last week, the walls were still here. Oh wow, it smells really good in here. Vanilla birthday, wow. <laughs> if YouTube had smell-o-vision right now, you guys would be like, there would be, be like sensory overload with the smells in here. It smells amazing. Oh, look at these. That is so cool. They're made to look like treats, basically, but they're like, this, they're things that you put in the bathtub. Look, this is soap. It looks like a cupcake. Guava tangerine cupcake soap. And still have a few things for Valentine's Day. Got bath bombs here. Wow. <laughs> that, that really smells amazing. These are supposed to be milkshakes, but they're called milkshake bath soaps. That is incredible. These look like fudgesicles. It's soap. Look, cake. That's key lime, chocolate cookie, banana cream. Okay, for those of you who like that sort of thing, that's definitely your shop. I'm definitely gonna be going in there in case I have like a nose problem because it really clears up the sinuses. Trust me, there are a lot of really good smells in here, guys. It reminds me a little bit of the Yankee Candle Store back in the, I think it was the Sherman Oaks Westfield Shopping Center. They used to have a uh, Yankee Candle Store out there. And when we went past the shop, we 
literally would run into this tornado of smells. When you walk in, almost the exact same thing. It is unbelievable. That's a really good shop. So this is going to do good business here. It might be a little pricey, but you know what? I'd say it's worth it. <laughs> One shop I would really like to see come back is Johnny Rockets, but it's still down, as you can see. Still have the walls. There's that Oreo cookie shake right there. No word yet as to when this will be returning, but hopefully sometime in the spring. Maybe late spring, early summer. I don't know exactly, but hopefully soon. I know you can't see it very well, but that's King Kong right there. And there's Hogwarts right there. Well, here we are, the heart of City Walk right here. That's the food court area. Hard Rock Cafe, things from another world. This is where they have live performances and shows. It looks like they got it all set up for tonight's performance. I don't know what's going on, but it looks like something's happening tonight. Oh snap, they got the Batmobile here. Well, this is the 1960s Batmobile. I have to say, exact same one at home, but the one I'm looking at is this one from the animated series. I remember many years ago for Christmas, I wanted one of these things. I am a big fan of the 1960s Batman series. I have this one too. Ooh, I've seen this Batmobile in person too. Oh, that's cool, Batman Forever. I've also seen the one from Batman and Robin as well. Sweet. Yeah, there you oh, go. sweet, they got Spidey in here. Spidey Homecoming right there, that's awesome. There it is, Margaritaville, right next to iFly, in case you're looking for it. Not too far from the Raider image, right there. That's right, folks, I made a couple bat purchases. You got the Batman Forever Batmobile and the Batman 8991 Batmobile. Sweet. I'm about to exit out of City Walk and into the park, but before I forget, just thought to mention that a few days ago there was a Voodoo Donut wedding here inside the shop. I am absolutely not joking. I don't know if it was like a publicity stunt or if it was an actual wedding, but there was a wedding that was held right in here with a bride and groom right in here at Voodoo Donuts. Um, I think he needs to get that looked at. That looks, that looks painful. By the way, folks, if you're not able to get butterbeer inside the park, like in Hogsmeade, I recommend coming here to It's Sugar in City Walk. Why? That's why. Butterscotch cream soda, right there. It tastes very much like the butterbeer you get over at Hogsmeade. This is a soda version. If you want one that's cold, they got a fridge right here. Okay, so now that we are done with City Walk, guess where we're going next? That's right, we're heading into Universal Studios Hollywood. And here's the biggest update right now, folks. The Animation Studio Store is officially open. There was a special sneak peek on February 14th, Valentine's Day. I actually recorded a couple of stories on my Instagram page, which unfortunately are no longer available, but... Oh, hello kitties outside. There she is, right there. She's hopping around, having a good old time. So if you guys want to see a video about the Animation Studio Store, be sure to check out the iCards annotation. It just popped up on the top right corner of the screen. It's a whole other separate video. Go and check it out. This is still walled off, this section right here. This might be where the family center might be. The restrooms were blocked off at one point, not anymore. Here are today's Waterworld shows, 2.45, 4, 5.30, and 6.45. Oh. So we still have the Lunar New Year going on right now in the Universal Plaza. It's going to be here until next week on the 24th, and all this comes down. Well, there's some significant progress with the DreamWorks Theater. You can actually see some of the areas over here where the plaster will go. Wow. It's actually taking shape. It's now a whole bunch of, of pipes and stuff now in iron. It's just, it's now starting to take shape. So they will be putting more on here soon, but it's coming along really nicely. We're still looking at a summer 2018 opening. It was spring, but now it's summer. From a distance I saw this, check it out. They got the studio directory back up, and it looks like it might be a new version of it. it looks a lot better, it's cleaner up to date and it's electronic. I remember back in the day they used to have one where they just had like a poster of the of the map and that was a pain to have to change all the time. But as you can see, oh my goodness. One or ten minutes for Harry Potter Forbidden Journey. Oh my goodness.
gosh, that is long. Oh, look at that. It actually switched to the Lunar New Year. There are so many muggles right now in Hogsmeade, and it's insane. So right now, we are at the studio tour, and once again, the lines are insane. I'm going to try to get in here very quickly to show you guys something new that's happening over by the front, right before you go down to where the studio tour queue line is. So right by where the sign is, there's actually new plants that are being planted down in there. But over here on this side, right over here by where the escalator is, you can actually look down and see where the queue line is because it's all being torn up. In fact, I was here on February the 13th and I got some footage of what it looks like. So Sean, cut to that footage now. This is what it looks like without the crowds. And they've completely torn that whole area up. Yikes. So once again, I'm back at the stairway. Once again, the left, far left escalator is blocked off. It says partner our construction. Or it says partner our stardust. But anyways, that's closed right now. Last time I was here, two weeks ago, this was all blocked off. So there's the back lot right down there. That's where they filmed Will and Grace at that little studio right there. They got World of Dance going on right now. There's a VIP trolley right down there. I was looking at some photos online of the construction for the Super Nintendo Land that's happening in Japan. And I was looking at how big it was going to be. All of this right here would be the perfect spot to put it, right down here. And I just looked up the information of which sound stages those were. Those were sound stages 22 through 25. Those were the sound stages for CSI Crime Scene Investigation. They were there for years. But right now it's just being used for storage of like the vehicles for the studio. But right now it's just, you know, flat. <laughs> but if they took out those other sound stages, sound stages 19, 18, 17, and 16, and 20, it's quite possible that there would be enough land to put down the Super Nintendo land. I'm predicting it's going to go right there. So I think I completely forgot to share this, but the escalator to the far left is closed on stairway number two. Stairway number three, same thing. And once again, the stairway, uh, the escalator that's on the second to the right is turned off because they're saving energy. Oh my gosh, there's so many people down here. So I forgot to mention this one as well, but the escalator on the far left on stairway number four is also shut down. And look what's open, mummy treats. Finally, the walls are gone. They have reopened, yay. That corn dogs, spicy sausage corn dogs, sides, fried pickles, the jelly donut bites, okay. Very interesting. Hey, mummy. And there he goes. Off to save the world once again, Optimus Prime. I shall return to Primus. Whoa. That is cool. Can you see that? I kind of see it. Let's see if I can put my hat there. Whoa, that is awesome. Optimus Prime right there. Optimus Prime! Where is he? Oh, I see I stumbled upon a hive of sycophants. Yes, you all are eager to cuddle up to Optimus Prime, are you? Some of you support him and have fought for the Autobots. Well, mark my words, fleshlings, I will root you out. For now, you stand in the presence of one who is truly powerful. One who is greater than Prime ever will be. For I am the Chaos of Kion, the Scourge of Cybertron. I am Megatron! <laughs> I heard some of you I will find you. Those of you. How dare you interrupt me, you vile child? No, 
I am monologuing. Do not interrupt me when I am <laughs> That's enough out of you! Oh, gee, the wind is blowing in this direction, and all the mist from the mist machines are in, coming in this direction. <laughs> Oops. Supposed to be going to the queue line. Oh, my gosh, there's still so many people in there. Now, this is somewhat new, but this is a new cart right over here, right across from Ollivanders. It has uh, ice cream. So as you can see, the production design for Hogsmeade is really, really cool. Wouldn't you agree? Now, some of these chimneys actually do have smoke coming out of them. Not at the moment, but there is one. I can't remember which one it is, but there is one that has smoke coming out of it. And did you know that right up here, there's an owl that comes out and flies around. Well, it doesn't really fly, but it just comes out of that area up there. It comes out this side right here. So, I'm going to prove it to you guys. So just wait a few minutes. I'm going to wait a few minutes, but when it comes out, I'll show you guys. And by the way, that is an actual working clock. The time right now is about 4.35, 4.37. And if I were to look at my wa or watch, <laughs> if I was to look at my phone, yep, it's 4.37. So that clock, it's accurate. There it is. There's the owl. It's like the, it's a small world clock. It's like every 15 minutes that owl will come out. It made a bong sound and then it came out. That's pretty cool. Now they got Mandarin talking Megatron right here. Here's Uncle Frank. Oh my goodness. Tim Tracker? Hey. Tim Tracker? Hello, kitty. Bye bye, kitty. Well, the crowds are heading to the atoll. Got another Waterworld show coming up. Well, I've just exited Universal Studios Hollywood. Wonderful time here. Got to see some friends here. And my battery's about to die on my camera, so I think that was the perfect time to end this video. So. Thank you all so much for watching this really awesome Universal Studios Hollywood construction update. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button. I can't do a thumbs up because I've got coffee in my hand. <laughs> be sure to check out my other updates here at Universal Studios Hollywood. i got a playlist of them, so be sure to check it out. Also, check out my other visits here to Universal Studios Hollywood, as well as my other vlogs here on this channel. Don't forget, I also have three other channels, the Educational Series, the Design Video Series, and the Travel Town Series. I also have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Links are down below in the description of this video. I also have a P.O. Box, so you guys want to send me mail, P.O. Box address is down below in the description of this video. Well, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. End scene. And as they say in Hollywood, yes, we are in Hollywood. That's a wrap.